you know, you know, an oak leaf when you see it. But there's two broad categories of oaks. They're big categories, and the oaks all fall into these. There's the white oaks and red oaks. And white oak is in the white oak group, thankfully. But so is chestnut oak, for example. You always want to know, is that a white oak or a red oak? And there's difference. The red oaks, you see the difference? The red oaks, the ends of the lobes, they have a bristle. Like they literally have like a hair. You could say they're pointed, but there literally is a bristle, like a paintbrush bristle. And all the oaks that have that, those are the red oaks. This happens to be black oak. It's in the red oak group. So is willow oak. So is shingle oak. They all have bristle tips. All the white oaks, they, the lobes end rounded. And white oak has like finger-like lobes. Kind of long. That's kind of pretty classic, right? Hard enough to sketch a little oak that's what people will draw right there. That's your white oak. Now all the oaks, another thing I'll mention, they're alternate, but the leaves at the end of the twigs pile up like cars at a stoplight, which then means the buds pile up. And here's what we say. We say oaks have clustered buds. I'm like, was well, that a different category from all? No, it's alternate. There's one there, and then there's one there, and oh, there's another bunch. There's one there, there's one there, and there, one there, and one there. there. There might be five buds on the end of an oak twig. Okay? Like, so a good characteristic of oaks have clustered buds. Alternate with clustered buds. And of course, oaks have acorns. Here's what you want to remember about the acorns. Learn the caps. See, wildlife eat the fruit, the nut, and they distribute them all over the place. The caps are left laying around. And from just a cap, you can get how big around it was, because we're going to have big acorns, little acorns. You can get how deep it was in the bowl. You can get the texture. And in a white oak, let's pass that around. White oak, the cap appears and feels warty. So I'm telling you to learn the caps. I mean, it's good. The more you can learn, the better, but the cap is a better focus because they're left laying around. And white oak has a warty cap. Uh, white oak is a very common and very important tree. Uh, the acorns are very prized by wildlife, but to them it's like their most favorite chocolate in the chocolate box, white oak. Like you can eat white oak acorns. You can make flour out of white oak acorns. You can bake bread out of white oak acorns. It's, uh, they wouldn't taste sweet to you, but they wouldn't taste bad. But to like a squirrel, it's like the favorite chocolate out of the box. They, they really love it. Same with deer. So if you hunt, people tend to try to look for uh, not just white oaks, but any white oak. Chestnut oaks and white oaks, that's what deer will be in the wintertime turkeys will be there looking for some acorns. White oak gets very large. If you turn around, see that tree there and that one there and that one there. That tree is between 300 and 400 years old. It's the trees in the eastern forest and one of the biggest trees. Uh, all the large trees in the stadium woods, you know stadium woods, uh, stadium over there, all the big trees are white oak. Because people always go, why? Is that what they planted 300 years ago? Well, no one is even here. You have to think about it. You like say that and you go, wait a minute. <laughs> Who was doing that? Native Americans? They were just moving. Uh, no, it's the one that li it's the only one that will live that. Way. So that when they, whenever they cut one, like there's a stump further down, we always kind of check it out, and they're always 300, 350, 400 years old. Why white? You know, black cherry. Had a black cherry, right? Uh, white oak. Anybody got an idea? Anybody see something that's kind of whitish? The chunks kind of ashy gray. You ever see, you ever, anybody have a wood stove and have to shovel the ashes out? Look at the one in the sun back there. It's one of, when people came, when Europeans came, it was the lightest one in the woods. And they said, no, I want one of the white ones, not a black one. That one's a black oak. And they've got the name. That's the white oak. This ashy gray, scaly, kind of scaly bark is what it's known for. Very, very good wood. You know, 
for oak flooring, banisters, stair treads, headboards. It's it's a very prized timber and wildlife and just like ecological because I mean, it lives, you know, for instance, left alone, it lives, it can live up to 500.